All right, Kendrick Sanders. Kendrick, another championship. How many stop signs now? Universities, three in total. Six, seven. Is this track? Yeah, uh, probably got more than that, but those are all I can think of right now. Thilke's in the double digits. You trying to get there? For sure. Thilke, man. Thilke's been doing this forever. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm slowly making my way up there, but he's still, he's still young, you know. He's really good. He's only going to get better from there, so that's a long way to catch up. Talking to you, you just sound like a guy who wants to wrestle and be on the mat as much as he can. Yeah. You're talking to me about going to Daytona Beach yeah. and Fargo for two different trials. You're, you're kind of a tweener with the weight, it looks, yeah. right now. You're, you could go up, you could go down. I don't know if you could go up, but you can stay up where you're at, or you can go down. What are you going to do weight-wise? Weight-wise, um, like I said, I don't, I don't really hop on the scale as much as I should. Like I said, I just try, I try to get matches, you know? The more matches I get, the more experience I get, the better I get. No matter what weight class I'm going to go, I feel like I can compete at any weight class. You, know? you got the best guys, you know, you got Harry at 71, you got Beasley at 75, me at 80, Ben's probably going to come 80 or 85. You got the best guys at every weight, so it doesn't matter what weight you go, it's just... You're gonna have to be somebody. You're gonna have to be somebody you're supposed to be, and you're gonna have to be someone you're not supposed to be. So, um, for me, like I said, I just wanna get matches. I just wanna go. I'm, I've been overseas, I've been traveling, I've been putting in that time and that work, so eventually it'll pay off whether, wh whatever way I go. You're looking at this, you know, with Provisor up, B sick down. Does it matter to you who you gotta wrestle? You said you gotta beat somebody. Does yeah. it matter? It doesn't matter to me. Um, these guys have been up there for a while. Bizik, you know, we've been in Russia, we were in Cuba together. Uh, like I said, you gotta be someone. You're gonna have to. Um, it's only gonna make that person better, and it's gonna make you better as well, you know? And you're just gonna keep building off that. We're just gonna build as a country, as a U.S. And I mean, we're gonna battle for years and years to come, how long, however long they're there for. I'm still up and coming. I've only been on the senior levels for three years. I share a lot to learn. I feel like I'm not in my prime yet, so uh, we'll see. Matt Lillen takes the head job you know he's the new Greco coach how do you feel about that and does that change training situation for you how do you look at Matt Lindland coming in and having a, you know a fresh face at uh, USA Wrestling? Matt Lindland has helped me tremendously uh, this past year uh, with him coming in and uh, working the camps he did and pulling me off to the side telling me what little minor details and uh, you know stay on my case stay on my case you know wanting me to get better my pummeling has been Amazing since he's, you know, helped me out there. Uh, that's how I've been able to survive at this bigger weight class, you know. At, you know, last year I felt like my fight on my feet, I felt like my fight on my feet wasn't that great. Um, but oh, by him helping me out, me going overseas, testing that out, testing his theories out, I mean, it's worked for me. So I felt good about it. I feel good about him being the coach, uh, new direction. I mean, Steve did a great job. Obviously, he helps me out tremendously too. But fresh faces is always good, and I'm just wanting to just excited to learn from him. Jordan said it's going to be an advantage for him having the trials at Daytona Beach. You're a Florida guy too, right? Yep. So is that an advantage for you too? Definitely. Uh, best of both worlds, you know. You got trials, which is always a big thing. You're already motivated, and then you got the home crowd on your side. You know, everyone wants to have home court advantage. You know, and this is my first time having the trials in Florida, so I felt like. I have to go. You know, I have to compete. I have to, you know, my grandma hasn't watched me wrestle in God knows how long, you know, since high school. I mean, she sees videos here and there, but having her there, you know, supporting me, that would be mean the world to me. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, getting down there, and most likely I'll probably be wrestling 75 there. So I'm excited. All right, you got anything else for me? So, yeah. Hey, congratulations on another stop sign. See you in Daytona Beach. Thank you.